think God is the author of nature and the author of scripture, and that if he's the author of both, then the two should be able to be brought into harmony. And so, so I wouldn't say that there's a high percentage of Americans that would identify with creationism. There is a high percentage of Christians that would identify with creationism. Uh, there is a high percentage of Americans who would disbelieve that evolution was what accounted for the origin of humanity and all of life, but they wouldn't necessarily choose creationism as the alternate explanation, and I'm not really sure what they would choose. But So, so I think the work that Reasons to Believe is doing uh, is allowing people to see that you can believe the scientific information and actually deeply integrate it with the Christian scriptures and the account of humanity's creation and origin. And I think that this message in particular should be very well received by the American people, uh, even those that perhaps aren't Christian. So the work that I'm involved with, with reasons to believe, I believe in deeply, and I think it's very valuable. And, and I think that any similar attempts uh, from Turkish creationist organizations that, that are looking at the scientific information and their religious faith claims and trying to integrate the two in light of what's actually true is, is worthwhile to pursue this. And, and that if that's what we're trying to do, we're trying to pursue truth, we're taking scientific information seriously and yet critically, willing to criticize if the scientific evidence isn't actually there behind specific claims, that this is the best we can do, pursue truth together. Uh, and so organizations that are intentionally trying to pursue truth in a way that's respectful to ideologies that even disagree with them, uh, but willing to dialogue with different ideologies is, is the best way we could approach living in a diverse culture. <laughs>